going on AMC Nation? Obviously today is not a good day for the stock market, but it seems like the market, they're trying to just take everybody's money now. They, they're not even just trying to take people that have the meme stocks. They're just literally trying to take everybody's fucking money. This is gonna be the heist of a lifetime. The stock market just taking everybody's money for no reason. They can't even answer it. They just keep on driving prices down when it goes up. They stop them, they slow it down, they don't let any, they run up too high. It's crazy guys, I mean, listen, I hope, I hope we, we toughen up and we get ready to go fight for our money because we're gonna have to go fight for that money. But other than that though, real quick, I just came out, give you guys a little something nice to look at. I'm literally at South Point. This is uh, First Street in South Beach. You can't go any further than that basically. Uh, for any baseball fans, uh, if you ever followed the Marlins, we had a really good pitcher. His name was Jose Fernandez, a Cuban local. Uh, those rocks over there is what he crashed into and died uh, on that night. But uh, other than that, that's a South Beach Pier. And, uh, you know, we got beautiful blue waters. Uh, it's another gorgeous day out here. Just trying to give you guys something to look at instead of the ticker and seeing, you know, the price drop and stuff like that. You know, it, obviously we're not taking losses, so there's really nothing to do. There's uh, nothing to see. So why not look at some scenery? Down there we've got uh, all of our cruise ships. Uh, that's the port. Uh, this uh, right here is a private island. You actually have to put your car on a ferry. You can actually see the ferry over there. And that's uh, called Fisher Island. That's that's where fucking a guy like Ken Griffin would probably have, a, you know, an apart, you know, an apartment or whatever a house. But that's Fisher Island. It's a private island where you literally have to take a ferry on. You know, you put your car, you drive your car on a ferry, and you have to go over if you're going to visit anybody or if you live. I've been on there before. They've got their own hospital. They've got their own uh, stores in there, so it's kind of cool. Once again, this is uh, I'm on a pier right now. This is one of our top beaches. Let me just turn you guys around. So yeah, just a gorgeous day at the beach. Like I said, it's really nothing to watch. So figured I'd give you guys something to look at here. This is just a normal Monday afternoon in Miami. You know, a lot of tourists are just out here having a good time. The day couldn't be any better. These waters are nice and warm. As you can see, our waters are pretty clear down here. So, uh, Tomorrow I'm going to be talking about some uh, things that I think that maybe we should all uh, put our heads together and try to see if we can all agree to do it. Um, one of the things that I want to kind of try is I want to avoid talking in comments. Like I said, the test that I did last week on Tuesday to try to expose bots and trolls and people overall that are just trying to get people out of this stock play and uh, off of talking about it on YouTube. I really think that we should just be communicating uh, on video. That's part of the reason why I had you guys do the video challenge so that you can get used to being on camera. We all have had to do this. I had to do it. Other guys that you watch have had to do it. They had to turn that camera on for the first time and kind of you know, break a little bit of the awkwardness. And you guys have, some of you guys have done that, but we should really be talking to each other on video. Uh, and we should be getting as many people to do that instead of doing it on comments. Just and if you want me, if you want me to re, uh, you know, watch what you uh, have said, all you have to do is hashtag me like you did in the video challenge, or at John Wick Sniping, or hashtag John Wick Sniping, either in your title or uh, you know anywhere in the description, and it will alert me that you have dropped the video. I'll watch it and I'll hear what you have to say. But I think we need to get away because the bots and the negative people, they're not going to make videos. They're not going to make videos. And if they do, it's going to be pretty funny to see some Indian uh, in New Delhi or whatever the hell, like Lou said, making a video trying to be anti-AMC. 
but that's one of the things that I really want us to try to start doing is just to forget about comments. The YouTube content creators don't even make any money off the comments anyway, so it's not even beneficial. Um, let's make videos. Let's talk to each other on videos. Let's acknowledge each other on videos. We should be um, subscribed to everybody who's talking positively about AMC. Um, and at this point, I don't really want to... Uh, I'm not trying to go against anybody anymore. I'm not trying to talk about Lou. I'm not trying to talk about anybody. Um, I really just want to stick to positive talk about AMC so that we can weed out who the problems are. Um, so like I said, I'm sub to almost every YouTuber that speaks positively about AMC. I think you guys should too. I think it's pretty stupid that we have all like this division. Like, oh, I'm only gonna watch Lou. I don't watch John Wick sniping. Or I don't watch the Massalorian. Or I only watch John Wick Sniper and I don't watch Lou and I don't watch this guy or Tony DeNiro. Like, we, we should just subscribe. Let YouTube. YouTube is paying us, not you guys. Okay? And all we have to do is talk to each other so that we can get to the bottom of this. Modern day protest is going to be done this way. You can't coordinate people to get together when they're all over the country, number one. And number two, protests can get violent. So what's the point in exposing yourself to a violent protest when you can literally do it right here like this? Think about it. We can protest this way. We can get our whole uh, AMC owners on video talking about AMC until the point that somebody says, wait a minute, everybody's talking about this shit. Every person that talks about uh, AMC, especially positively, they should be getting uh, half a million views. Let them pay. Let YouTube pay. It doesn't cost you anything. I think it's so stupid when anybody ever says, I'm not giving you a penny. You're not giving me a penny. Google's paying me. So yeah, that, I just want to leave you guys with that. I'm about to end this video. But that's uh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about this week. The other thing that I uh, am going to start trying to see if everybody's interested in doing, I'm thinking about um, uh, seeing if everybody is willing to buy one share a day, if possible, buy one AMC share a day, uh, especially while it's under 20. Why, why don't we just all coordinate and say, you know what, I'm gonna buy one share a day. We need to get enough people on board with that. Fuck that, that uh, thought process of uh, we're buying fake shares. Okay, if they're making fake shares, we buy fake shares, you're gonna have to pay for those fake shares. So what does it really matter? I don't know if the strategy of not buying uh, is the strategy to keep going with. I don't think that that's gonna help us. I think we need to get back to buying whatever we can. And like I said, I don't have a problem. You're not gonna hear me say the financial disclo disclosure anymore about I'm not a financial advisor. Fuck that, whoever comes after me talking about, oh, you're out there on YouTube talking about stock, whatever, cool, like, come get me. I, I wanna talk to you. I wanna talk to people that uh, wanna get down to the bottom of what I'm doing and what they're doing. So think about that, guys. I'm gonna leave you with that. John Wood Sniping is out. Thanks for watching.